airport ever. <laughs> Yay, Chicago, number one. <laughs> Chicago Airport <laughs> going to Las Vegas. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> So that's the view from our, our hotel and it's quite dirty. <laughs> so good morning guys. It's our day one here in Las Vegas. We are staying for a night here in Flamingo. We will gonna pack our things right away because <laughs> we will get our RV and we just rent an RV to explore West Coast. Today it's sunny and I don't know if it's hot or I don't know the weather outside but I'm excited. Yesterday we arrived here around 2 a.m. It's already late because our connecting flight from Chicago going to Las Vegas had two hours delay and we don't have any choice and we just sleep here and maybe after this we will go to Walmart and buy our supply because as what I've mentioned we are renting an RV and we will be exploring west coast the hotel that we are staying is the flamingo hotel which is really on the center of the strip area everyone is nice here so far <laughs> i'm excited it's my first time here in the usa but mark it's not his first time it's his third time let's go so we will just pack our things and then leave the hotel and then have our brunch together by the way i am with my family so I'm just wearing a light makeup because it will be a day tour. On our last day, we will be back here exploring Las Vegas, but in another hotel. Unfortunately, this hotel in front, like the Bellagio, and they have this dancing fountain, which is really famous. And from here on top, we have a really great view. However, it is our last day. <laughs> so I will show you guys. Um, and yeah this area here this is the fountain and that is the bilajo
time to get scheduled for three o'clock. Yeah. Three o'clock? Yeah. Initial. Oh. Initial, sir. So yes, I understand. Okay, he just need to yeah write his initial because he will be the one paying for it. <laughs> yeah, <he's laughs> okay, this is what we provide you. This is supplemental liability coverage right here. But it carries a two thousand five hundred all deductible. So you need your initials on that one, sir. Yeah, next item is the So if you guys have a supply of electricity in your campsite where you're staying at, the cord here, unplug this cord, plug this cord into electricity if it's available. Now once you guys plug that cord into electricity, now you have electricity in the motor. Yeah. Okay? When you unplug this cord, the plug-in, we do have power available to you guys. When you finish with that campground and put the cord away, don't forget, make sure you plug it in. Okay. Okay? One question, adapter? Yep, right there. Perfect. Now, your holding tanks are back here. This is where you dump out your dirty water. Yep. Have you ever dumped out before? Yep. Okay, please remember that the hose connection must be done correctly before you pull your black valve <laughs> As soon as you pull your black valve open, it empties out immediately. I know. Okay, just be careful. <laughs> Otherwise, you're not going to have a very good trip. I am. Okay? I'm a professional at this. <laughs> okay, the fuel is unleaded fuel only. There's no diesel fuel in your motorhome. Yep. Now, if you're going to run your generator, it runs in the same gas tank you drive the vehicle with. Half a gallon of gas per hour. So if you go somewhere with no electricity, make sure you have a full tank of fuel. Okay. If you have a water supply, we furnish you with a water hose inside the RV. Mm -hmm. So if you have a hookup for water where you're staying at, you connect the water hose here. Then you guys have water at all times. Okay? How about the connection with the hose? The hose is in the motorhome. In the motorhome? Yep. So all you got to do connection to the... You're going to have the connection to hook up there if you have one available in your camp. Uh, where you're staying. That's called a hookup. Yeah. So when you have a camp that has hookups, they have water and electricity available to use with the motor. <laughs> That's good. Right, now, on, the, on the side here, there's no major damage. This is the storage compartment here. Now you guys can put your belongings inside of this compartment. And right there is your chip, is your table. Ah, there's a table. Now inside here is a regular water hose to hook to the water supply if it's available. Okay? This tank up here is full of 40 gallons for you guys. So now this tank is full. So any place you go, you have 40 gallons of water. Thank you. Now your propane tank is here, which will last you about seven to 10 days. Now when you stop for gasoline, the valve for the propane tank, this one must be closed. Now it runs the refrigerator, which takes six hours to get cold. So when you close the valve at the gas station, once the vehicle is full of fuel, before you pull out the gas station, don't forget to turn it on. Okay. If you shut the valve off with the propane tank at night, if you turn it back on, your refrigerator is going to stop working. It's going to take six hours to get cold again. Six mm. hours. Okay, so it's very important. This valve is only closed when getting gasoline. Yes, gasoline. Okay. okay. Now, how many nights are you going to be gone? Like two days, two, about a week? Uh, 14 days. Okay. After you've been on vacation for five days, check your level of your propane tank. Yep. If the red needle's by the quarter mark, go to a propane station, they're going to fill it up for you guys. Okay. They're going to fill it up. They fill it up for you. For me. Okay. It should last you at least five to seven days. Yeah. Because it's not as cold as it was a little while ago. Your number one consumer in the motorhome that uses the most propane is your heater. Right? Heater. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Okie dokie. So now it's open, huh? Yeah. Well, yeah. All right. So All right, come station. inside. warm in here, summertime here already. Yeah, all four of you going? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, now you guys are gonna have to sleep. Yeah. They're gonna get. Mm -hmm. No, no. Uh... <laughs> You're gonna put them up there? Good, good luck with that one. <laughs> all the way back there, that door right there, yeah. is your shower and bathroom. Shower, right? Your restroom, too. Mm -hmm. All right, so here's your shower and bathroom for you guys. Yeah. Now, over here, everybody, this is your heater. Heater, mm-hmm. Now, if you guys are cold at night, all you simply do is turn the heater on. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. Just like that. Yep. Hear it? Yeah. Now, once you turn the heater on, it's going to take maybe 10 minutes to get hot. Okay. Like, okay. very, very hot. hot. So, once you turn this on, once you guys are comfortable, when it's warm enough, turn it down, not off. Okay, only down. down. Mm -hmm. That way, if it cools off overnight, it turns mm -hmm. on again. Okay. okay. But how does it work uh, if the car is... Okay, uh, if you're not able to access electricity, yeah. the heater will run the battery system for two hours. Battery, okay. Two for hours. two hours only. Okay. But as much heat as this heater puts out, mm -hmm. it won't be on for more than half an hour all night. Okay. 
Because once you turn it on and warm it up in here, the interior of the vehicle won't cool down unless you open windows and doors all the time. Mm. Okay. You'll be fine. Yep. Okay. Now, I said half a gallon of propane per evening. That's approximate. Because if it's not on very long, you're not use that much. Okay. This one, if you choose to use it, you may. It's mm. a closet. Mm. Okay. Our refrigerator is set for you guys on propane. Now, when you guys travel, any place you stay at, you have to be on level ground. Yeah. Okay. You have to realize when you open your door to your refrigerator, you can increase the temperature by 10 degrees inside of it. So whatever you're taking with you that's big, you want to keep cold, milk, OJ, beer, water, soda pops, ice chest, everything. Yeah. Not in here. Ah, okay. Okay. So we need to... Because okay. whenever you put heavy items in the refrigerator, you have to realize when you drive around, it's going to move. Yeah, it's going to exactly. move. Yeah. So yeah, that stuff needs to be in ice chest always. Mm -hmm. yeah. Otherwise, it beats your refrigerator up. Now, you can put your ice cream and your popsicles in this freezer. So this is a regular freezer. Your refrigerator is a good refrigerator, too, but it gets to about 40 degrees. Mm -hmm. Temperature will can fluctuate with climbing doors. Okay. Can we have a look? Yeah, it's already turned on. Okay? <laughs> okay. Now, right behind this young lady is the kitchen area. We have a stove here for cooking. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, up here will be your systems. Your propane level, your gray tank, your black tank, your 40-gallon tank of water, and the battery that runs your heaters right here. Oh, okay. Cool. Now the gray tank of water is four different, three different things: showers, dishes, and brushing teeth. Yeah. Okay. Now one shower from one person can use ten to twenty-five gallons of water per shower. Ten, okay. Per shower. per shower. So. Your gray tank holds no more than twenty gallons. Okay. So to avoid dumping out, as soon as you're done with your shower, showers outside. Mm -hmm. And long, do your dishes outside if you're doing dishes. Mm -hmm. Now as you use water, the forty-gallon tank of water is going to come down. As it goes down, it fills these two up at the same time. Mm -hmm. Now, if you reach two thirds level on the gray tank, mm -hmm. it has three lights here. If, if it gets that full, you need to empty it out. Okay. That's okay. the same for the black one too. Yeah. Now, two when thirds. these get to two thirds full, this one's now empty. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. All right. So you have forty gallons of water, just enough to fill the two tanks up, and then dump two them out, mm -hmm. and then fill the tank full of water. You guys are good for another week. Okay. Now, if you guys only limit your water use in here while you're on vacation to brushing teeth and flushing your toilet. Mm -hmm. 40 gallon tank of water should last you seven days. Seven, seven days. days for first Well, five minutes. gallons of water per day. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. If you only brush your teeth in your flush your toilet. Okay. Okay? Your battery here is the one that runs the heater mm. and it's solar charged too. Okay? Oh, so. Ah, solar charging. Your generator, if you need to use it, you push mm. stop first. Your mm. alarm here is going to blink. After that, we mm. give it three seconds mm -hmm. and then push start until you hear the microwave oven beep. Hear the beat noise? Yeah, yeah. Let's yeah. Go. Okay. That means you have full power. Full power, okay. Any hot water in the motorhome, turn the water heater on, it takes 20 minutes before your water's hot. 20 minutes. So turn the water heater on, wait 20 minutes, and turn the water pump on, and don't put the valve to the left to see the water's hot. If it's hot, your hot water's ready. Okay. The water pump must be on when you go to sleep at night until the next morning. Must be on? Yeah, when yeah. you go to bed at night, if the water pump's off, there's no water pressure in the motorhome. Mm -hmm. yeah, okay. So if I go to sleep at night and the water pump is turned off and somebody wakes up to use the bathroom, the water will not work. Mm, because yeah. Mm -hmm. So if you turn the pump off, go to sleep and have the pump off. And when you all wake up, you use your bathroom when you're half asleep. You're not gonna be very happy. <laughs> yeah, of course. All right. <laughs> Questions. Any <laughs> television? Yeah. Oh boy. I'm a celebrity now. Yeah. <laughs> okay, up here, guys. Let me show you some more stuff. I'll get you guys out of here. I'll go grab your chairs. When you guys are driving your motorhome around on your vacation, mm -hmm. your tow haul light, which is on at the moment, to light to the left right here. See that light? Yeah. That says your tow light is on right now. Mm -hmm. Okay. I need you guys to turn this light to the off position the entire time you're on vacation. Yep. Now, once you turn the system off, the tow haul light, once it's turned off, you stop to get lunch, get fuel. When you start up the vehicle, it may turn the tow light on again. Mm -hmm. So every time you start the vehicle up, check the tow light, make sure it remains off. Must be off, huh? Yep. Yeah. No. Now, you will turn that tow haul light on, however, if you get to go down a hill. If you're driving around like you're up in the mountains, mm -hmm. and you have to go down a hill, you want the tow light on to slow you down. Okay. All right? Any questions? No. Okay, up here in the front, because when you guys are driving, there's no electricity in your motorhome when you're driving. Mm -hmm. So if your telephones need to be charged up, these may be charged with your telephones here because they're 12 volts. Yeah, okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay? Now, this is a d newer vehicle. That means your stereo system has Bluetooth. Uh, so if you guys want to hook up your phone for music, <laughs> we can. Okay, that's good. Whose phone? Um, my phone. You have it with you? Yeah. Okay, let's hook it up. Hook your phone up, get your chairs, and you guys can load up and go on vacation. <laughs> Alright, um, Bluetooth? Yeah. Um, which one? 
When you get your screen up, it should say hands free or far. That's I it. Hear. Push it. It's gonna say no. Okay. okay. Push it. Okay. Now, it's gonna come up Ford Audio this time. Mm-hmm. Okay. Look for Ford Audio. There Here. it is. Push it. There you go. Here. Okay, your Bluetooth is all done. <laughs> Here are your keys to the vehicle. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, I've been a ding dong. If I could take you up and boom, boom, boom.